Good evening, this is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle and come get ready with me. So I have new products and I'm so excited. So I needed a new concealer. My concealer was almost gone and I've been told amazing things about e.l.f. products. So I thought I'd try one. Uh, so I got the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish and I got it in fair rose and I'm hoping that I'm hoping it's slightly lighter than my skin so it'll kind of give like a a highlight underneath it so that's that then I got the cat cat Von D uh, liquid lipstick and I got it in color AT00 So I'm excited to try this one. I have had, I have her other one and I can't remember what it's called, but I really like it. It's like a, a deeper red, like a, a more of a blood red. This one's like more of a true red. So we'll see. And this is the one I've been waiting for. So it's called the uh, Naked Urban Decay Wild West. I haven't used it yet. I've been waiting for tonight so that I could do a come get ready with me. I have opened it. I'm not going to lie. I've been waiting for it for a long time. Um, I got a Sephora um, like email saying it was coming and I got really excited. They give you a really nice brush. I'm excited to try this brush tonight. It's a blending brush. The colors are absolutely like amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use them. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're going to talk. And I'm going to put my shit on, drink some coffee, try to get myself going. Because, you know, 10 o'clock at night, let's have some coffee. Why the fuck not? Who, who needs sleep? I mean, really. I'm just, uh, I just put my, my oil on my face. Um, so I'm trying to let it soak in before I start going in with all the things. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Uh... Oh, see, so I'm kind of, I'm doing something that I know better. I know I shouldn't do this. I know with my skin, I shouldn't do this, but I'm trying to find a product line that I really like. And I don't know. I've asked you guys before, I'm gonna ask you again, if you have any products, like face products, washes, tonics, toners, Creams, night creams, anything like that that you absolutely love and you have sensitive skin, drop it in the comments below. Let me know what you love because I can't find anything I love and I'm starting to break out really bad. And I tried the Nivea Essentials um, Ultra Hydrating Cream because I'm so dry. I'm so dry. It's... Like, I'm putting olive oil with essential oils and a few other things mixed in it on my vo on my face. And, like, I'm still, I'm still dry and flaky. Like, it's incredible. So, if you know of anything that's going to help my makeup stay in place or help get rid of some of the dryness or anything, a primer that you love, something... I need help because this is ridiculous. So, yeah. So, we're going to get right in there. Oh. What should we talk about today? I hate this. I usually think about this beforehand and not today. Not today. Um. 
What can we talk about, guys? I'm still learning about this Huda one, this matte perfection pre makeup, and she, she, she beads, guys. She does. Remember when I used it before, and I was like, I don't know, it kind of beads on my skin. She does every time. I think this is the fourth time I've used it, and every time I use it, it beads. I don't love that. That's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. Um. So, yeah, we don't love that. Let's try the new concealer, shall we? Let's see how we like this shit. I feel like there's not enough light in here for me, but whatever. It smells funny. I'm a smell person. I don't love the brush. It's so big, you guys. Weird. I'm so picky. You know, for somebody who's not like a professional in any way, shape or form, I am so picky when it comes to my cosmetics. I want them to be like, so <laughs> I have such like a high standard for what I, what I want them to be. Now, with that being said, I don't mind spending the extra money if it's going to be exactly what I want it to be. But yeah, I really have a very high standard on what I want that those products to look like. <laughs> I'm just kind of realizing that now. What I will say is I got... So Walmart has started selling this brand, this e.l.f. brand. And I've heard such amazing things about e.l.f. that I was like, wow, Walmart. And I'm going to be honest, I fucking hate them all. I hate them all. Yeah, Walmart, I have no choice. I have to go to Walmart hella fucking regularly. Because three kids, dog, cat. I find myself in Walmart a lot. So if I could get decent makeup, like my concealer, which is something I go through a ton. Um, I've been told that their, uh, their eye pencils are good. I haven't heard too much about what their eyeshadows are like. And quite frankly, I mean, unless they can match the beauty that is Urban Decay, which is truly my favorite. I, I love the Sephora brand. I use a lot of their makeup. I really do. But I'm kind of a sellout when it comes to certain name brands. <sighs> and my makeup is kind of one of those things that I'm a sellout. It kind of needs to be It kind of needs to be my, f I need to visually fall in love with it as much as I do um, like the product itself because I look at it every day, right? And I put makeup on not just so that I can put like my best face forward, but also to make me feel good. So I want my makeup to be pretty in packaging like, so this, for instance, it's so simple. It's Sephora, but it's just, it's sleek. It's kind of, I, I always, when I see the, it's sexy, right? It's not overly stated. Um, most of my makeup is like that. It's, I don't go... I, Kat Von D's stuff is actually a little over the top for me, but I mean, it suits her personality, so it is what it is. But like, I just always seem to find her stuff looks very like costumey instead of, I don't know. 
but it's a good product so i use it let's be honest right like it is what it is this shit is amazing most of the time um but again costumey because it even smells it right like i was saying about her foundation i really like her foundation but there's a there's a smell factor there i have yeah that's something we can talk about why not so i have a sensory issue um and I've had it my whole life. I wasn't diagnosed with it until I was an adult. But I have a sensory issue. So there's certain sounds that kind of drive me more crazy than others and whatever. And I get, I can become overstimulated with like lights and stuff. The hum, oh the hum that a fluorescent light gives off. Mm -mm, no, no good, no good, no good, no good. Uh, when I'm at work, we have fluorescent lighting and I have to listen to music or YouTube videos or um, like a podcast or something like that. I absolutely cannot sit at my desk for nine hours, eight and a half hours, whatever it is that I'm there and not have some sort of something playing because it'll... I'll be so agitated and irritated by the time I leave at the end of the day that it's unreal because it does it can it there's certain things that even can send me into like like a fit like a blind fit um and I've been really good as I've gotten older I've gotten much better at figuring out like what those sounds are and how I can pull myself kind of back from it and not allow it to stop me from doing certain things a flicking light though seriously I know I can't imagine I'm the only one that that drives absolutely mental but it can actually trigger a migraine for me so I have to be really careful um and it's funny because it's not like a strobe light because I can go to a bar I used to be able to go to a bar before COVID and if there was flickering lights, it wouldn't, like, strobing lights, it was fine. But it's like, I don't know. I think because I, I wasn't staring at a computer screen, right? Like, I wasn't trying to focus on something and I wasn't trying to work. And I was just focused on <laughs> whatever shots and drink I had in front of me, let's be honest, that it didn't matter. Right? I wasn't... It's not the same as when you're at work and you're really trying to focus and pay attention to what you're doing. I think, honestly, I think that that's truly what the difference is. Um, so, with my sensory issue, there are certain sounds that really... They really drive me up the wall. Like, really bad. But even sometimes... Like the sound of somebody talking and not just like a certain somebody, just anyone talking is enough to set me off. Uh, it depends on the day, my stress levels, <laughs> if I've eaten. That's a big one. I get really hangry. Really hangry. Look at how pretty she is, guys. I'm so excited. Stop it right now. Such a nice brush. It is a really nice brush. Very happy girl. All right. So, let's see. We're going to start with the shade Nude from the, what's it called? The Wild West Collection. Or palette so I'm just gonna put nude all over my lid well 
crease of my lid. And then I'm going to play with some colors. Oh, so I have hooded eyes, which, I mean, anybody who has eyes can see that that's in fact what they are. And my girlfriend brought it up to me the other day that I, she's like, you have hooded eyes. Why don't you do this? Or why don't you do that? Or no, what was it that she said? She asked me, oh, eye tape. She was like, have you ever used eye tape? And I was like, no, I didn't know that eye tape was a thing. And she's like, yeah, she's like, I seen it. I watched a video about it. And like, it's really cool. And I thought, oh, okay. She's like, have you ever used it before? And I said, no. And she's like, well, it worked really well. It really opened up the eye. It made them really awake and everything else. And I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, no, I, I'm good. And here's the thing. I, my eyes have always been hooded. Like, this isn't new. This isn't... And I never thought about it. I mean, I, I had watched a few tutorials on cut crease for a hooded eye because, I mean, I as I've said, I, I only do my makeup. I have zero experience. Like, I'm no professional by any means, right? Which, like I just said, I say all the time, even in the descriptions of the Come Get Ready is with me, they say straight up, like, this is in no way a makeup tutorial. I, I'm just doing my makeup. Come hang out with me. Hear what I have to say. Connect. Let me, let me learn your energy a little bit better so that I can read your cards better. Really, that's really and truly, that's all that this is about. And so I, you know, needed a little help understanding what to do for a cut crease. And so I, I looked into it. I got a little help. I watched a few videos, whatever, right? But I mean, other than that, I'm, I don't know. I don't want to change the shape of my eye. I, I like my eyes. Now, I have struggled a little bit with, because my eyes are shaped slightly different. Like my one eye is shaped slightly different than my other eye which is not uncommon. It's a very common thing, but I sometimes struggle with getting these bitches to look like, like, I know they don't have to look like sisters. They're supposed to be twin, or they don't have to look like twins. They're supposed to be sisters. Um, I preach that gospel, but like, if I could just get these fuckers to look like they're part of the same gene pool that would be great because like most days they don't even look like cousins much less sis or twins so you know that's kind of my issue um but I've learned how to work with what I got you know like I'm okay with it and so yeah when she was like you should do, you should get this tape. I was just like, Brandy, why? <laughs> um, then I looked into it because I was like, I don't understand what this tape is that she's talking about because I don't even know what she's talking about. So I looked it up and I watched a few tutorials where people were using it. And I guess if you... If it really bothered you, like if the hooded really bothered you, that would be a great tool for like pictures or like a special evening out or something. But I mean, it took me a long 
motherfucking time to figure out how to get my eyelashes on properly. I cannot even imagine how long it would take me to figure out the the tape. I can't imagine that and I can't imagine I'd be a very happy person in the process of learning that. I can see a lot of swearing in that process. <laughs> and yeah, no. 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 Again, I say I can see why that would be a lot of fun for somebody who really just didn't love the fact that they have a hooded eye. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> hey. I I don't need anything that would cause that much frustration in my life. Okay, so my my daughter gave me some advice. We're going to try it. She said if it's like a, a metallic -y shimmer, you're actually supposed to use your finger to apply it. So we're going to we're going to give it a go here and see if that works better. Oh my fuck it does. Good job, Morgan. Good job, Morgan. So, isn't that funny? I, so if you watch my Come Get Readies with me, you've seen what I now refer to as the blue video, which was the Come Get Ready with me where I had put blue on for the first time in my life. And I really ended up, I really ended up liking it, actually. In, in the end, I really ended up liking it quite a bit. Um, oh shit. Now I go, oh well. Oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up really liking it. And I've actually worn, I've actually worn blue out a couple times since. Because now... I am obsessed with color. And so I've actually started to put more color on and play a little bit more with color. Even when I'm going like out and through the world, not just for my videos. So it's actually been a lot of fun. Doing these videos have really opened up some pretty cool things for me that I might not have tried before, which is awesome. And I'm so grateful for that, that I, I have stepped outside my, my comfort zone in way of, in way of colors and stuff, because yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Like this is a look I probably would have laughed at you if you ever said that I was going to do and here I am like full green full green and really liking it really really liking it I do I do need to go in there with this and like give it a good clean up though because the fallout on these greens is pretty pretty intense here so we're just gonna we're just gonna clean that shit up because everybody knows that I like me a, a clean cut line on my wing. There. <clears throat> so I love this palette, guys. Like, I fucking love this palette. It was a little bit more expensive than, like, 
those little ones that I got from Sephora. Those ones were, I mean, really dirt cheap. Like, dirt cheap. But, I really love the color. I really, really love this color that it's got going on here. Now, I did buck up a little bit, so we're just going to... There. God, I love it. It's so much fun, you guys. It's so much fun. I want to put my brush back. All right. So... <sighs> the Mass Singer is coming back. That makes me very excited. I pay for Shaw Cable all year just so that I can watch The Mass Singer. <laughs> it's not, that's actually not true. I have been wanting to cancel Shaw for quite some time. We just simply don't watch it in the house. Uh, we used to be avid TV watchers, me and my kids. And... We're just not anymore. We just really don't watch TV at all anymore. So it almost seems pointless to have it, but they won't cancel it now. So that's great. Assholes. <laughs> well, they will cancel it. That's actually a bull late face lie. They will cancel it for me, but I have to pay something ridiculous to have it canceled, so. So I just leave it. Some of my plants are starting to molt because, well, trees. I like trees, so I have a palm tree here, and then I have my money tree there. Then I have a palm tree that I'm growing out there. I have a fern that is trying to take over my house. Like legit. Legitimately, it's trying to take over my house. Oh. All right. I have a new chair. I'm so excited. It's not mine. I didn't buy it. I actually got it from my work because... I asked my boss, you know, how they would feel if I just went and stole me a chair. Because, not stole me a chair, that's the wrong way to say it. I asked if I could just take my chair from my desk because it, it's a lot to sit here because this is where I work from as well. So... Right from this spot, I just move my laptop over and I sit here and I work all day. And so I had been working here all day at my kitchen chair and it was not fun. It was not good. I was in pain every day. And then I'd come and I would do these videos for, you know, sometimes I sit here for an additional five hours depending on how many personal reads I've got that I'm going to be doing, how many, um, how long each of the Zodiac sign ones are. Um, what is another factor? Uh, how long my come get ready with me is because sometimes these things can be upwards of an hour. I mean, we're already at 30 minutes basically. So, Yeah, they can get lengthy, these videos, right? And so then I'm sitting here for eight hours for work, nine hours for work. And uh, my poor back was just like super mad at me, super, super mad at me. And so I asked my boss what the chances were that I could go and get my chair from my desk. And it was like I said, I said, as soon as we go back into the office, I'll take it back. That's fine. But I just, I need a chair. 
because my back is killing me. And she's like, well, let me talk to them and, and see what they say. She's like, I don't want you to take your, your like chair chair because then if we go into a hybrid situation, you're not going to have a chair and that's, that's not good. Like you need a chair at both places. So she talked to HR and they were like, yeah, she can have a chair. So I went in. Oh shit. That reminds me. I have to, I have a release. I have to sign. <laughs> I'll have to log on tomorrow morning and do that. So anyways, we're given these magnetic ones to try again. I don't know. I didn't, they didn't stick great last time. So we're going to see. I've really put on a ton more of the eyeliner, which is, I went and did some research and that was one of the things that everybody was saying was for these ones that these $20 ones that you get at Walmart, you have to really put on that eyeliner. So I've done that this time, which I'm not going to lie. It actually kind of pisses me off because the whole idea behind these things for me anyways was that it's like a quick line and you're off to the races. I had no intentions on needing to, I don't know. I think I'm going to order the ones offline and see what those ones are like because fucking anything's got to be better than this. And now I've put them, I'm, maybe my expectations are too high. I don't know. Is that my problem? Are my expectations too high? Is expecting a product that claims to be magnetic to just like snap on is that unrealistic expectations? Maybe I'm being, maybe I'm, I want too much from these things. I don't know. Maybe I do. So what if I do? I just want it to work like, like the people who manufacture this shit claims it works. That's all I want. Nothing more, nothing less. And now it's off. See? Fucking fuck. It's funny. My friend Brandy put lashes on the other day and they were really bugging her by the end of the day. And anytime somebody talks about their lashes bugging them, it always reminds me about the story that I told, I've even, I'm sure I've told it on here before about my mom and how she says that they look like caterpillars on my rear view mirror because I always, when I wear them to work and I'm driving home between the eyelashes and my, um, my contacts, it's too fucking much. And so I always end up taking my lashes off. I like just peel them off and stick them to my rear view mirror. And my mom, she just, she busts out laughing every single time. And so, yeah, it reminded me of that. And so I had to laugh. Well, I do like that. I think I really like that, actually. I want to line this eyebrow or do this eyebrow, and then I want to show you guys the difference um, with the heavy liner and the heavy eye and the, the green eyeshadow. I just really think that it requires a heavy eye. So... This is the eye pencil that I have been using for 
two years now. I, I do really like it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's as dark as I'd like it to be, but it's Auburn and it's one of the very few brands and makes a pencil that actually has an Auburn in it. And so I always find myself going back to this one or I use shadow like an eye, like eyeshadow. I have a couple eyeshadows that I really like. If I'm going for like a, a very dramatic eyebrow, I'll use a dark brown. And then if I'm going for like a more natural one, I have like a more natural color. So there, that's with the eye, the lashes and all lined up. And there's before. So it really does define the eye absolutely amazingly but it takes a long time. So I'm going to do my blush while I send you guys off and then I'll finish my other eye and then I'll get to the readings. I don't even know what fucking, I'm a hot mess. I don't even know what readings I'm going to do tonight, you guys. Like, I don't get a whole lot of comments from y'all, so I don't know which ones you like. Like, which ones are resonating? Which ones you want to see more of? I just don't know. I know that these last ones did really well. I think it was... Was it Aquarius? One of you guys showed up. Like, holy man. Amazing hits this, this month. So that's really awesome. We're up to 119... Uh, subscribers very exciting and yeah just gonna do a little bit of contouring not a ton I never do a ton I don't want to change the shape of my face I don't want somebody to see me in real life with makeup on and be like oh she's so pretty and then I have to run to Sobeys or something without makeup on and they're like who the fuck are you I don't want to change the shape of my face. I just want to kind of make it look like I got a bit of a tan. And I do darken up my jawline. The reason I darken up my jawline is because my family lineage blessed me with quite a double chin. Even when I'm not overweight. And so I like to darken it up just a little bit to disguise it just ever so slightly. All right, guys. Well, that is that. I'm going to finish this eye and then I'm going to start the readings. So I will see you very shortly. And until we meet again, you have a wonderful rest of your March. Blessed be, guys. Good night.